Good day everyone, my name is Rasan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope you're good. Check this out. So we are in our Bangalore design and this is our beautiful parametric canopy. These are our concrete uh, U-shaped walls and this is our adaptive component, right? And these are our stairs by profile. So today uh, that is the following video and we are going to be making a beautiful uh, facade inside <laughs> Revit, right? It's going to be very quick. Uh, so I made a very quick structure right here. I made, I went to the basing side. I made these three patterns and now let's quickly get started. So I mean all of these, you know, the workflow for these videos is the same right so the pattern size um uh, i mean we make a pattern and we paste it in uh, we make a family and then we paste it in the pattern that we have made right so it's kind of uh, the same so let's go to meters right here and uh, let's go to two places okay and uh, you know the size of the pattern the size of the pattern that i have set in my actual plan is two by two okay fine perfect after that uh, let's go to this point right here and let's uh, paste so one two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, let's press md let's click on that let's go to filters let's select none let's go to reference points let's click on that and uh, let's change this to a uh, control by parameter so this is going to be the four um points uh, offset perfect nothing uh, very hard to understand after that let's go right here and let's give this uh, one meters Perfect, right? Uh, okay, and check this out. So easy. After that, let's go to reference and uh, let's go points. Let's activate our 3D snap and uh, let's start uh, snapping. So one, two, and uh, three, and uh, four, and uh, five. Perfect. Uh, you know, we also need another point. So control C, control P, same place. Let's go to this point right here. And let's write MV, uh, move by, by what? By 500 um, mm. All right, uh, 500 mm. So it means this side is going to be 1500 mm. And uh, in this case, let's uh, let's move it by MV by by one meter. Um, all right, and a bit to the left. I think this is perfect. So now uh, let's go to reference and uh, 3D snap activated. You know, 3D snap sa uh, saves so much time. Remember, in my other videos, I used to click on two points and then connect it by spline and change into a reference line. So this one is kind of a time saver. And uh, now this right here and uh, this right here. Perfect, right? Done. Now let's click on this point right here. And uh, the offset of this is again a controllable parameter. So this is going to be one uh, mid uh, point uh, of set. Perfect. Um, okay, okay. So our entire structure is going very good. After that, let's go to point again and activate 3D snap and uh, one and uh, two right here. And uh, the same, guys. It is the same. So one and two. We'd have to make these uh, crosses right and uh, make sure to click on this so reference uh, reference lines and uh, activate 3d snap Perfect, all right, check this out. So our structure is complete already. Now it's just uh, the profiles, right? <laughs> so it's it, it's nothing hard. Uh, let's go to our paste a point. Uh, let's paste a point right here. Let's go to, um, let's go to this, all right? Why not this? Uh, why does it have to be a circle? Uh, set. And now pick a host. Again, all right, so the is the same steps again repeated again. I'm gonna, you know, fast forward whenever I feel like it's important. All right, check this out, guys. So now it's just making the profiles, all right? So click on that and uh, that, and uh, let's start pasting our profiles. Alright guys, so check this out and this is our profile that is made already, alright? So, I mean the workflow, uh, I mean, you know, the steps are very easy, alright? So I kind of fast forwarded the steps because they're they're being repeated again and again and again. So how about we click on this point and, uh, you know, for the time being, uh, let's kind of, okay, uh, this is a controllable parameter. So this is the 1.2, um, perfect. And then now is the materials, right? So, uh, for example, if we press tab right here, and uh, this material right here, let's go for new, and uh, let's go to C H R O M E, and uh, OK, and uh, OK, and uh, this one right here is again gonna be chrome, perfect, and uh, this one right here is gonna be uh, mesh, so um, M E S H, 
okay okay and uh, tab and uh, this one right here is again all right now check this out so let's go uh, for the chrome uh, we are simply going to write a C H R O M E and uh, so all right perfect uh, this is the steel chrome okay um, that is done now for the mesh uh, let's go to new materials right here and this is going to be um, the default new material so let's rename this to M E S H uh, perfect now once that is selected click on that let's go to um, appearance let's go to uh, metal right here and uh, this is what I am Alright, so this is it guys check this out. This is our parametric facade now. Let's load it into the project And uh, now let's click on this point. Let's click on that and uh, let's click on that and let's go to patterns and uh, family 3 and uh, Let it finish loading. Let's go to finish our mass And uh, let's go to masking and sight and let's turn this off and check this out guys so this is our our beautiful parametric facade and look at how beautiful it looks all right uh, let's go to realistic and uh, let's check this out so this is uh, you know the parametric let's go to constant colors all right better so this is it guys all right <laughs> look at how beautiful the, uh, it looks and these were where is it all right here is it these are the the steel frames that we previously made so they kind of have a very realistic touch into it because usually that's how facades are made right uh, they have to be connected to the concrete by these steel frames so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something from it from this right take care of yourself and bye-bye uh,